hello everybody welcome to justravel.com i am back with another video tutorial here we are going to discuss about bootgrid plugin implementation in ravel if you guys wonder what bootgrid plugin is it's a beautiful table extender it looks like it comes it comes or it comes with a default search functionality pagination functionality and sorting functional number of record to be shown and sorting functionality actually we we already made a video on this board grid plugin working demo so we will discuss in this video about how it works about the code so if you jump to the code part here this is the root file we wrote all the functionality in roots to make it pretty simple so when the application is initially loaded this root get this roots get gets fired so what it does is it gets all the data from the model here so the model is located here if you see if you see this model we will get the data from the table called boot root. before going this we will see the env file how it looks here we'll have the database name as boot grid data username and password after configuring this we will get the we'll get the table from this database it looks like this one it has id first name last name email gender country and salary so after getting this data what we do is get gets get all the data from the from the table and return those data to the view to the view named welcome so all this data gets written to the view welcome so we will handle this data in this view this view file is located at resources views and welcome this welcome blade ships with laravel by default so these are all the basic scripts to be included for using bootgrid.js bootstrap and also we used w3 css here so all those scripts being included in the head part so this is the basic table we are going to use this is the basic table it uh, comes like this in each this is the head part in the head part we use the names uh, column names first name last name gender email country and salary and for every column we we'll use an id called data column id these ids are used by the bootgrid js to manipulate the data and this data type numeric indicates that this column contains numeric data and this data order ascending say order by default sorts the elements in this column in ascending order if you see here um, in this demo it by default it sorts all the elements in the ascending orders so we'll for this we use this part initially we keep it as ascending order and if you see here the we used another part called data formatter equal to actions this data formatter helps us to add some functionality like adding some buttons and all see here we added two buttons for edit and delete for those functionality we use this formatter data formatter and as we, as we see in here we get we get all the data and return to them we have written to the view with the a variable named data so we use that data we use the data and run a for each loop to show all the data so the data is shown now we will see about the buttons so we had added a column called actions with some buttons if we go and see yeah this is the boot grid but js part this is the boot grid initially we initialize the boot grid using this this is the initialization of boot grid actually this grid basic is the table name of the table here we gave the id id is the table grid basic so we'll use that to initialize the boot grid after boot grid is initialized we use the formatters name actions in this actions we added two buttons this is the button for edit and this is the button for delete 
so in this button we added one button or uh, two click elements one for edit this is the click element for edit this is a click element for delete along with this click elements we added some data element which has all the information about the row data id first name last name gender email salary so as to when this button is clicked we have to get all the data here so for that to get the data here we we can we capture all the all this data in the row using the data that id will will get all the id name first name of the particular row using this data element so so when edit is clicked we will get a model with the data field so the when edit increase the data um, the edit model looks like this is the edit model this is the heading for the model and we'll basically have a form with some with first name last name and if you also see we'll have a hidden field called id which we used to fetch the data with a particular id and save the data for updating operations this action is save and method is post so when when we click the edit button and fill all the details and click save button this function calls this action this function calls the function looks like this is the part it requests all the that will get all the input fields and will search the table with the id so and just fill the and just fill the database and fill just fill the table with these options which we get from the form and then then save it and then redirect it back that's the save functionality if you see here the last name is peter so we'll change it to dennis richie it just says just save dennis richie that's how it works After save functionality, we will look for the delete functionality. It looks the same. This is the model for the delete functionality. We will simply have a in a delete method in when delete model is clicked, we will simply have a delete button with this name. So so when delete button is clicked, we will get all the data. In the data element and we'll show them here with the form ids these are the ids of the form in the edit model so we'll set those values using this data elements and similarly we'll set the values of this name here emily sd that name will set it here and when this delete model is clicked we'll we'll call the action delete with method post so when delete model is clicked it will goes to this 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 part and we'll get all the data and then we'll set the table for this id which you got there and then delete it we using the delete function and then just iterate it back so pretty simple mlsd will delete it and you just delete it from the table and that's how it looks um, if you want the project code all the code is available on github here you can clone it fork it uh, do whatever you want and after cloning this you have to run compose it install or update or, um, or both comments the SQL file I used here I also provided it here it will be at assets I stored it in the assets resources assets also generating you have to run the php key artisan php partition key generate and then you're up to go you can run the project do it one that's it that's it for the video guys thank you for watching if you like this video please subscribe to the channel share it to everybody you know thank you